Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to customize your Chromebook so that it looks and works the way that you want to. All right, let's get into it. All right, the first thing I want to show you guys is how to change the wallpaper. The wallpaper is definitely central to the look of your computer or your Chromebook. And the way that you can do it is you can either set any image that you wish to become your desktop wallpaper or you can choose from uh, pre-installed wallpapers that Chrome always ships with. So let's say if you've downloaded a cool wallpaper from the internet, uh, Unsplash is a very great source and you want to set it as your wallpaper. Uh, for instance, I have this brown fox here. All you have to do is to right click on that image file, then come down here and then click on set as wallpaper. And as you can see, it's now my wallpaper. And if you want to use the pre-installed wallpapers that ship with Chrome OS, uh, all you have to do is to come and right click on the desktop right here and then click on set wallpaper and style right here. Alternatively, you can come to settings here and then come to personalization and then set your wallpaper and style right here. Okay, so click on wallpaper right here. You have all these wallpapers categorized. You have cityscapes, landscapes. So I'm a very big fan of landscapes and if i just came down here i can just click on that and you can also set it to change daily so every day it refreshes to a different wallpaper on your chromebook which is kind of cool right you can also use your google photos here as your wallpaper awesome Another way to personalize your Chromebook is to change the screen server. Now the screen server automatically sets in when your Chromebook is idling or becomes inactive after a certain time. By default, the monitor or the screen will automatically turn off, but I mean, you can have something cool run in the background. And to do that, again, right click on your desktop of your Chromebook right here and then come to set wallpaper and styles and then come to screen server right here okay so you have different screen server animations like show feel the breeze and float by so the screen server will source images from curated artwork and images by google or you can choose from your google photos right here i tend to choose the curated artwork by google and another way to customize your chromebook is to turn on dark mode obviously dark mode has become extremely popular across almost all platforms and consumer devices nowadays it's supported on ios on iphones and android phones as well it's supported on windows and also on chromebook now dark mode sets the color scheme of your chromebook into darker accents which are easier on your eyes especially in the night or in a dark room to turn on dark mode on your chromebook simply come to settings right here and then come to personalization right set your wallpaper and style exactly this screen we're in and then under the theme here we have light dark and then auto so light is what you currently have here but you want to tap on dark mode what i tend to do is to set to auto here so that dark mode comes on at sunset and then it turns off at sunrise Right, another way to personalize your Chromebook is by changing the theme of your Chrome browser. Now we know that the Chrome browser is very central to the experience of Chrome OS and so tweaking that theme gives it a little punch. The browser theme appears around the borders of the browser and as a background when you open like a new tab. All right, so to change that theme of your Chrome browser, you simply have to go to the Chrome Web Store. To get to the Chrome Web Store, you can search for it here from the launcher, okay? And then just click on it. So it opens up and then come to themes here on the left panel. All right, and you have like multiple themes to choose from. And if you found something that you like, click on it and then simply click on add to Chrome. 
All right, another way to customize your Chromebook is to move or hide the shelf. Now, the shelf on Chrome OS is a bit like the dock on Mac OS or the taskbar on Windows PC. It houses all your favorite apps and it's just right here. So you can move this shelf to the left, to the right, or to the bottom. By default, it's at the bottom. But if you want to move it around, simply come to the shelf here and then right click on it now don't right click any app icon because then that is going to give you another option you want to come like in between these two icons and then right click on it okay and then come to shelf position so you can see we have left bottom and right and let's say i just want to move it to the right here yeah you can see the shelf has moved to the right so some people may like that I like it at the bottom. Right, kinda related to the shelf. Another way to customize your Chromebook is if you want to pin uh, your favorite apps to the shelf. I kinda already mentioned that. Uh, by default, when you install apps on your Chromebook, like from the Google Play Store or from the Chrome Web Store, the way that you access them is by clicking on the launcher here. So the launcher is this little circular icon at the start of the shelf. You can also use the search button on your keyboard to launch that uh, launcher right there. And then you simply search for your application. But if you don't want to go through that tedious work, all you have to do is to come to the application icon, right click on it, and then you simply click on pin or unpin, right? So for example, we have Canva here, click on pin to shelf and it comes right here. So every time I want to launch Canva, I simply have to click on it right here. So that's another good customization tip that you can use, right? Another way to customize your Chromebook is by changing that default language. If you bought your Chromebook from the US or the UK, the default language is set to English, but we know that not everyone is an English speaker. So you can change the system-wide language of your Chromebook to any of the supported languages such as Afrikaans, Danish, German, Spanish, French, Zulu, Italian, Dutch, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Arabic, Hindi, Chinese, and much more. So to do that, come to settings here on your Chromebook and then come to advanced right here and then come to languages and inputs right here and then come to languages right here and then come to change, search for your language of choice, and then confirm and restart. To restart your Chromebook with the new language set. All right, another way to customize your Chromebook is to set the startup sound. By default, your Chromebook doesn't make any sound when it's starting up. Normally Windows PCs or Macs have a startup sound and Chromebooks also do it, but they don't have it enabled by default. So to change that, go to settings here on your Chromebook and then come to accessibility right here and then come to audio and captions here and then toggle play sound on your device startup. So I have it here already enabled. So whenever my Chromebook starts up, it plays a little sound. Another way to customize your Chromebook that I like to do is to enable reverse scrolling. Now, the first thing that I actually did when I bought this Chromebook and I booted it up is to enable reverse scrolling. Why? Because I didn't like the default behavior. So the default way that scrolling works on Chromebooks is the way that it works on your smartphone. On your smartphone, say for example, you're browsing through your newsfeed on Twitter. When you swipe up, Okay, the page goes up and when you swipe down, the page scrolls down. But I don't like that on computers. And so when I bought my Chromebook, that's the first thing that I had to do. I needed to reverse that behavior so that when I swipe up on my touchpad, the page scrolls down. And when I swipe down on my Chromebook, the page scrolls up. So to do that, come to settings right here, okay? And then come to a device, okay? And then touchpad, and then just enable reverse scrolling, just toggle that in. 
Lastly, another way that you can customize your Chromebook is by changing the keyboard mappings. Now we know the Chromebook keyboard is sort of unique from Windows PCs or Macs. For starters, the keys are in lowercase. Other difference is you don't have the function keys on uh, Chromebooks and also you don't have caps lock on Chromebook, right? So to turn on caps lock, for example, on a Chromebook, you will have to press Alt and then the search key and to turn it off, do exactly the same. Now, if you don't want to do this and you kind of just want a dedicated, say, caps lock key, you can remap some of these keys to act as a caps lock. And to do that, simply come to settings and then device and then come to keyboard right here. You can turn the search button into caps lock right here. Now, whenever I press the search button, it activates caps lock and whenever I press it again, it turns it off. So that is just another way that you can remap some of these keys and have those conveniences. So depending on what you want, you can remap your keyboard. So those are my 11 tips on how to customize your Chromebook. I hope these tips were helpful and if they were, please go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel and then ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one